Today I'm going to be talking about um, bar sizes on chainsaws and particularly I'll be talking about like 50 cc, 60 cc and 70 cc chainsaws. For those of you that find yourself you're getting a new chainsaw and you're trying to decide which bar to start out with, um, I'll just let you know some of my experiences and uh, hopefully that can help you um, in choosing the right bar size for you. The chainsaws that I'll be showing you today are two uh, 50 cc chainsaws. Um, I wanted to show you those because this is one of the most common size uh, chainsaw and uh, just give you an idea on what bar sizes I use. Now, um, this is a Johnson Red 2253, which is basically a, uh, an older version of a uh, Husqvarna 550 XP, uh, which is a pro saw by Husqvarna. And then uh, this is a steel MS261, um, also a 50cc chainsaw, also a pro, pro saw. So the common bar sizes on these two chainsaws, they come typically with a 16 uh, to 20 inch bar on it. The main thing uh, that I wanna mention in this video is just when you're cutting with a chainsaw and you choose to use a lar larger bar, you're giving up power. The reason for that is you have more drive links, which are these uh, that are in the, in the bar that you're having to use. So, it's basically like in a car, whenever you use a bigger tire or uh, bigger wheels, the, the engine and transmission are having to turn that much more um, to turn the wheel that much more. It's just um, the torque that it takes to pull those. For me, I don't like to sacrifice the uh, cutting speed or the power uh, to run a longer bar. If I'm gonna do that, I'm probably just gonna use a bigger chainsaw. <laughs> So I know like uh, in different places of the world, they use shorter bars uh, and then in different places in the US, uh, they use longer bars. Part of that has to do with uh, the wood that you're cutting, um, hardwoods versus softwoods. If you're running in softwoods, you'll find yourself running a slightly bigger bar. You don't need near as much power uh, to get through those softer woods. Um, and so you can afford to run a longer bar. Uh, whereas on hardwoods, you'll find yourself running a slightly smaller bar. I live in the south. Um, we uh, have a lot of hardwoods uh, where I'm from. Uh, I run into mainly oak, oak trees. When I'm felling or bucking uh, trees, um, I find myself leaning towards a shorter bar. In particular, I'll, I'll mention on the MS261, um, as I mentioned, they have 16 to 20 inches. I run an 18 inch bar. On this particular chainsaw, it has four horsepower, um, good amount of horsepower for the size. I've run a 20 inch bar, I've run a 16 inch bar. I just find myself always going back to the 18 inch bar. Um, it just has a has a good feel to it. It, it has plenty of horsepower for, for an 18 inch bar. It can run in an oak, uh, bucking an oak without a problem. Also, it has a good balance to it. The 18 inch bar just feels like a good good balance for this power head. This power head weighs 10.8 pounds. So if I was running a 20 inch bar, it might be a little bit forward heavy. If you like to run more nose heavy, um, then yeah, you could probably run a 20 inch bar. That being said, um, you're not gonna have as much horsepower uh, when you're cutting in hard woods. So, you're sacrificing some power, some time whenever you're cutting through things. With an 18 inch bar, um, typically that's gonna be the right size for the tree that I'm cutting with this size chainsaw, with this size amount of horsepower. Now, if I jump up to a 60 cc chainsaw, sure, I would run a 20 inch bar all day long um, because it has, I mean, typically like a 362 uh, by steel or a 562 by Husqvarna, um, they have about 4.75 uh, horsepower, um, or 4.7, I believe, horsepower. With that much horsepower, you can afford to run a 20 inch bar. And even if you're running in softer woods, I've seen people running 24 inch bars on them and all the way up to 28. I don't know that I would try that myself, but uh, it, it can be done. Another thing also to mention, uh, for those of you that uh, are mechanical and you, you're really into chainsaws like I am, um, if you have a slightly modified chainsaw, a ported chainsaw, or a muffler modded chainsaw, um, you can also afford to run a slightly la larger bar as well. Basically the gist is, the more power you have, you can run a slightly longer bar. 
and you won't sacrifice uh, cutting speed. Somebody else may have a very good reason why they use a particular bar size and a particular type of wood. I'm speaking to basically the wood down here in the south and particularly talking about oak trees right now. On a 50cc chainsaw, my best experience with the pro level chainsaws like an MS261 or a Husqvarna uh, 550 or a, a Johnson Red, I run an 18 inch bar. On a 60cc chainsaw, I would run a 20 inch bar. And then on a 70cc chainsaw, I would run a 24, a 25 inch bar. Uh, steel has a, has a 25, whereas Husqvarna has 24s, but more prevalent are the 24 inch bars uh, whenever you're looking at those. If I was running softwood, I would probably be running a 28 inch bar on uh, a 70cc chainsaw. And if it was ported, I would run uh, even more than that. I am interested to hear in the comments um, what uh, what type of chainsaw you're running, uh, particularly uh, pro level chainsaws, and what size bars you use, and maybe the, the type of wood you're cutting. Um, to know the type of trees that you're cutting, uh, it kind of makes it, it, I mean, it makes a lot of the difference uh, when you're talking about cutting speed. If y'all have any questions, uh, Please put them down in the comments, let me know, and, and I'll, I'll do my best to answer uh, what I can. And uh, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you all in the next one.